Hello, welcome once again here <coughs> on the channel. Uh, a break in the weather. It's been terrible as late, as I'm sure you know, the last uh, few videos. So out with the Mini 3 Pro this evening to do a test on the new Expo settings. Uh, and that's what it's all about. Let's do this. So, okay, <clears throat> I'm on the video. As you uh, have probably know now that a couple of uh, firmwares ago, DJI brought us some new Expo settings and there's one setting in there which I'm not too keen about and that's what today's video is all about. So basically I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So we'll get this little fella in the air and we'll get straight on with the video. So we'll move him out of the way. <clears throat> Just want to make sure that uh, it's in shot. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look into the uh, Expo settings. Three dots going to control, gain and Expo tuning. And there we have all these new settings. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it into city mode and the one that I'm talking about is this one just here the brake sen sensitivity so we'll put it right up at the moment we'll press record and check in backwards so as it's set at the moment you can see that it comes to a, a stop I'm just checking that uh, you can see that on camera. I'm sure that you can. Okay. So that's with it set at full. Now another YouTuber by the name of Ian of London, he did a, a test with this. If you've not seen Ian's videos, I say you go out and check, check out his channel. He puts some great content out. And I did watch that video and I'm still not convinced. Now, the, uh, he proved that the obstacle avoidance does work with this uh, brake sensitivity turned right down. But uh, the test that I'm going to do is a little bit more than that. I'm not going to stand in front of it and put my hand up and make it stop. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's, uh, let's alter this setting. Let's go into normal mode. We'll drop that down to 10. Let me just check. Put it on to break. Okay, brake sensitivity is at 150. Okay, so I've now put it down to 10, which is the uh, minimum. Shoot it back out. There we go. So for this to actually work, it does actually need to be, with the obstacle avoidance, it needs to be on brake and not bypass. So let's bring it towards us. As you can see, a nice slow speed and that's gone right behind us. Helps the voice has just come in. You can probably see that on the screen. Uh, there is a hedge in front of us. And it did see it and it did stop. Okay. I 
just going to give it one more go and I'm going to explain my concerns. Let's see in the hedge. Yep. It did actually stop. It stopped about, I would say it stopped about two foot from that hedge. So I can go with that. Yep, I can go, go along with that. I'm just going to raise the drone up and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see in the shot there now, there's some power lines and this is what concerns me. So <clears throat> an obstacle like a fence, is, I've just demonstrated and as Ian did in the video, he put his hand up and the drone stopped with the obstacle of all it's on brake. However, <clears throat> if I was to fly towards those power lines, that drone, that Mini 3 Pro and probably most other ones ain't going to see them. So if you've got your brake sensitivity set down to the lowest, which is 10, it could possibly fly straight into those. Now I'm not going to test it. <laughs> I'm not that stupid, but I'm going to fly towards it just to see what happens. I need to go a little bit higher. Whoa. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that brake sensitivity back to where it should be. 150. I'm going to get in line with these. All I want to do is see if it can actually see them. And I think the short answer is no, because we're getting no obstacle avoidance coming up. And that's pretty close. So that's my point I'm trying to make on the video. If you're flying at a height where you've got power lines and you've got that brake sensitivity really low, that drone's going to carry on. It ain't going to see power lines. It's probably not going to see small twigs in trees. So you need to be careful. You need to be really careful where you're using it. If you are using it, personally, I can't see the point. I can't see the point of why you would want to put your drone in a slow brake mode. The only other way around it, let me put it back into the higher, lower end on the brake sensitivity. Right, let's move this right down. I'm going to bring the drone back down. There's something else that I'm going to try. So as you know, we've got a pause function on the remote control. I'm going to see if that works with this brake sensitivity being really low. So we'll fly it towards us. We'll let go of the sticks just there. Hit the pause and it came to a dead stop. So that's your get out of jail card. But <laughs> could you see that from a distance heading towards power lines? If you can, you've got good eyes. So let's do it one more time on camera. Okay, flying towards us. Gonna release the sticks, hit the pause, and it came to a dead stop. And it's now seeing me in the frame. So, there we go. I'll just back him off a little bit. So there we go, <clears throat> short video, all about the brake sensitivity in the Expo settings. So it's entirely up to you whether you use it. Personally, I don't think I'd ever use that. Um, yeah, you might get a little bit more cinematic, um, slow down shot if you like, but you can use the sticks for that as well. I'll we'll just put it back into in the Expo settings again and put it back to where it was when it decides to behave. Right, brake sensitivity. We'll pull that right up once again. Okay. So we're in normal mode. <clears throat> and if you want to do a nice slow stop, you can do it with the sticks as I just did there. You can set your expo settings for your sticks and make it so that just a slight movement gives a small input as you know. So we're flying along and just easing off on the sticks and it comes to a nice 
slow stop as you saw there so there we go really that's uh, that's the video complete I hope I've made my point clear about the obstacle avoidance I just moved the uh, mini three out of the way I've made the point clear about the obstacle avoidance and how it can't see certain little things so just bear that in mind if you've got your brake sensitivity down to the lowest so hope you've enjoyed the video you got something out of it if you did give us the old thumbs up and if you're new around here why don't you consider subscribing dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it and we will see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>